Hello everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can create your website using WordPress and for this we are going to use Namecheap cPanel hosting. So let's start and it all it will take us just 10 minutes and it is uh, it will be a really easy to follow tutorials just follow step by step instructions that i'm going to show you in this video and you will be able to create your own website in no time so let's start and the first thing you have to do is go to this website smarthelpguides.com slash discount okay so this way you will get the best offer available on the hosting package right now okay so it will automatically take you to the best offer page okay so right now you can see um on the yearly plans there is 45 percent discount going on so it really um this is the plan i would recommend uh, yearly plans do not go for the monthly plans because you will have to pay twice the amount of the yearly plan so it completely makes sense to go with the yearly plan and namecheap is a pretty well-known brand and um, it's uh, they have been in the business for a while now and uh, they are pretty reputed so and if anything goes wrong they have a 30 days refund policy so you do not have to worry about it so um, i would recommend you to pick the ad plan and um, according to your requirements you can pick any of the plan okay so the main difference is um, the number of uh, resources allotted so if you have a, just a basic website and less than three websites, you can go with the Stellar plan. So I will pick this right now. Just click on get started. Okay, so and then you will have to pick a domain name. Domain name is basically your website name like google.com, facebook.com, amazon.com, twitter.com or namecheap.com. So you will have to pick a domain name for your website so here um, select this options new domain name then new purchase and here uh, search for the domain name let's see if uh, the domain name you are looking for is available and my tip for picking up a domain name is uh, keep it short keep it simple easy to remember and do not include any kind of copyrighted or trademark words in your domain name like um, let's say your website is about books and so do not create a website name harrypotterbooks.com okay just create a like fantasybooks.com or something like that okay so let's search for a domain name and it will automatically search if that domain name is available so right now you can see there are so many extensions available and so mostly pick the .com because it is the most popular but because i'm creating this only for the tutorial purpose so uh, i will just pick the cheapest one and click on this option connect to hosting okay so now we have purchased our hosting and our domain name so you can see the total amount here now click on add to cart Okay, so now again um, just review your order and make sure that everything is correct and please make sure that uh, pay attention to this that there is no spelling mistake or anything here because once you purchase the domain you cannot uh, get a refund for it because I think because the because it's really cheap and uh, you can get a refund for hosting but I don't think you will get a refund for domain name so make sure that it is correct and uh, they will not no way to change or rename uh, so make sure it is correct and you can turn on the auto renew if you want and the best thing about namecheap is they offer this free us card protection so it's like really a very essential feature this basically pro uh, protects your personal data like your address contact number email address from spammers and this is the hosting you can see uh, the duration i have selected one year is to first click on confirm order okay so at this step what will happen is you will have to either log in so if you have a, already have a namecheap account you can directly log in but if you do not have an account uh, you will have to just create a new account and it's really easy all you have to do is simply fill some of your personal details and your account will be created so since i already have an account so i will just um, directly log in and i have set the second factor authentication code so i will just um, enter that 
so here in the payment method i will select paypal and then click on continue okay so you can again here review your order and once you make sure that everything is correct then check out with paypal so i will complete the payment and then uh, forward the video okay so after paying you will see that they are processing the order and it will just take few seconds to for the processing to complete okay so you can see uh, we have successfully purchased and you will get all the details in your emails and everything so once you reach this step um, just go here on the top and from here go to dashboard and from here you will be able to see all the services connected to your namecheap account so you can see there are multiple domains and hosting already connected to my account okay and um, this is the basically the uh, domain and hosting i just bought best host offers dot club so you can see here the domain and um, the expiration date so i have purchased it for one year just right now so from here uh, what i will do is just you can hover over this uh, hosting icon and from here click on go to cpanel okay so this uh, name chip will automatically redirect you to the cpanel and from here Okay, once you log in just scroll down and you will see in the software section this option wordpress manager by soft atlas click on install and okay, now here it will ask you to the select the version just keep it at default and here installation url okay so from here just uh, keep it default like this uh, and everything default you can change all these things later but if you want you can also do it right now my blog uh, description i would suggest you to just you know do it later and this will be the your wordpress admin account so if you want you can change your password admin um, username and password you can also change it later if you want so right now i'm going to keep it at default and in the admin email I will change, I will put my Gmail ID best WP guides at the rate gmail.com. So make sure that you put your correct email ID because all your credentials will get uh, it will be emailed to that email ID. And in case you forget your password or something, um, you can reset your password by this email ID only. And right now, we'll just copy this uh, password and language you can select so i will untick this okay we do not need this we can we will install all the plugins and things later we just want a plain and simple website so if there are something lot of themes available if you want okay you can select from any of these themes but I will just skip it and um, just do a vanilla installation of WordPress and again enter my email ID here best WP guides at the rate and in case you have any query or if you are not able to follow any step which I hope you'd um, you are able to but still if you have an issue you can email me at this email ID and I will try to help you and then click on install so this will take like a few seconds to a minute to install okay so it just took few seconds so right now you can see congratulations the software has was successfully installed so now let's uh, visit, try to visit our website if it's working i'll open it in a new tab okay so it is not working and this is the administrative url so uh, what is happening is uh, because we just bought our domain and hosting so the name server updating process will take like few hours um, usually it is like 30 minutes to two hours so after that you you will be able to access your website 
and right now um, it is not working because the DNS updation process is not complete. So what I will do is um, in a notepad, I will save my username and password admin and this is my password. So okay, so just an update after I finished recording this video, just five minutes after that, I was refreshing and to check see if the website is working right now and magic it's just started working. So it just took like five minutes. So you can see the domain is working and you can see it's a blank WordPress installation. And uh, to log into the WordPress admin area, just add slash WP admin. Okay, and then press enter and it will directly take you to the login page so now let's go to the notepad and copy copy my password from here in username i will put admin and here password click on remember me click on login and that's it that's how simple it is we have logged into the wordpress admin area and after this just follow the just uh, follow the, all the tutorials uh, in the playlist and to make your website even better and in the next tutorial I will show you how to make this WordPress website secure you can see there is a message not secure so make sure to watch that video too if uh, I have already uploaded it the link will be in the description and comments and so I hope you found this tutorial useful and um, and uh, another thing I would really highly recommend you to do is uh, once your website starts working um, do uh, meanwhile you can check out this playlist things to do after installing and creating a wordpress website here i have created a playlist of really important uh, videos and tutorials which um, every website owners will need uh, the first is to how to forward your emails and second is how to create a custom business email like your your name at the rate your website.com and there is a backup tutorial and then there is another WordPress uh, subdirectory. This is, well, not everyone will need, but um, just in case. And the important and the tutorial is how to add a contact form to your WordPress website. And then there is a, how to use the WP mail SMTP. So all your emails will go to the inbox and not to spam folders. So that's a, it is a very good tutorial and I would highly recommend you to watch it. And another very good tutorial is this uh, pop-up form. So you ha must have seen that, uh, you know, on websites, there's a pop-up form appears. So that's a uh, very good to, you know, capture leads and capture your visitors email ID and uh, any information. There are a lot of, um, you can provide them coupon codes and everything. So I would recommend you to watch this. And there is a SSL tutorial. And if you want to create a WooCommerce website or something like that, I have tutorial about them also. So you can find them on my channel. Uh, this playlist link will be in the description and in the comments. So meanwhile, your website uh, domain name is uh, name service updating process completes. You can watch this tutorial. And um, once your website starts working, you can follow this tutorial and apply them. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video.